Welcome to this Power BI report presentation created by Enterprise DNA. Today's Power BI report focuses on the sales CRM data that you would ordinarily find in such solutions as Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics. What we're attempting to do here is really gain some insight into the future revenue that will derive from a certain client set. In the case of this example, we have a client set based in the New Zealand market. We have key metrics on clients and on particular deals completed and in progress with clients. Some of these metrics include the client name, obviously, the sales rep or account owner within the organization, the product or service that we're looking to sell to the client, where potential new sales are in a pipeline phase. Then we also have some numeric data points in terms of the current revenue achieved per client, the target revenue that you may set at the beginning of a year or financial year for a client, and then also some estimated data around how long a deal or deals for a particular client take to close. The report is broken up into four different sheets. The first sheet we have an overview of the current revenue achieved for the client set, what we're selling to the client and where that revenue is coming from in terms of the uh, current location. We also have a few different breakdowns of where the client, uh, where the revenue has come from, and to, including the client grouping, the service category, and also another summary by region. We then focus in on the current sales opportunities. So where is future revenue going to come from, and who is looking after that revenue? This will help in terms of resource allocation. Some interesting analysis we have here is, and this is something quite common in the CRM solutions out in the market, is that your reps can place a probability on if a sale is going to occur. So we're able to break down the chance of a successful completed sale. With the linking of the data model in behind the report, we can easily filter and see, okay, which sales are most or least likely uh, to be completed. Um, and that can be filtered across a number of different key metrics for um, a particular client set. We then dive into specific client analysis. We have all our key metrics on the left-hand side here, and then we can easily dive into a particular client to work out how they are going up into up until this date and then also what potential revenue is still to be achieved for this particular client. We can also drill into a subset of clients like so, say if we know a grouping of clients that are in the same industry and, and this way we can easily and find out if that particular industry or subset or grouping of clients is behind or have not reached their targets as, as a group. Lastly, we focus on the key sales. So where are our key sales currently in the pipeline? So as you can see in this example, we still have quite a lot in qualification. And what we want to be doing throughout the rest of the year, or what we want to be seeing, is we want to be seeing a lot of these move into the decision or solution design phase. So ordinarily, you would start off in, say, a discovery phase and then move into a qualification and so on and so forth. And this way, we can easily drill into which clients, those, which clients are in that particular pipeline phase and then make sure that we connect with either the sales rep or uh, or the client itself, or resource the client appropriately so that we can gain as many of those sales or, or turn many of those potential sales into actuals, um, actual results. Thank you.